My name is Dr. Gene Pizzolo. I'm the senior partner here at Progressive Oral Surgery. You've successfully completed the surgical phase of treatment. Welcome to recovery. Post-operative instructions for most oral surgical procedures are universal with few exceptions. Perhaps the patient's biggest complaint is bleeding and swelling. You may notice a gauze pad in the surgical site. It's imperative that you apply direct pressure against that gauze for a half hour without disturbing it. After a half hour, remove the gauze, wait a minute or two, check the site. Don't judge bleeding by the appearance of the gauze. Blood and saliva will always make the gauze deceptive. If there's no active bleeding, leave the gauze out. If there is, you'll be provided additional gauze. Take a piece or two, fold it in half, place it over the operative site, bite for an additional hour. Typically, it'll take an hour to six hours for bleeding to stop. Once bleeding stops, if you're hungry, you may eat. Soft foods are fine, nothing hot off the stove, warm to cold, anything just cooked, let it cool off a bit. No rinsing, spitting, or brushing for the remainder of the day. That will promote bleeding as well. Your next concern will be swelling. Cold packs or an ice pack wrapped in a towel held adjacent to the surgical site for 20 minutes will help with swelling. This should be alternated 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off for the remainder of the day. Ice will have no appreciable effect the following day, so it's imperative that you do this until bedtime, the evening of surgery. Restriction and opening may occur following several oral surgical procedures. There's a muscle sling that runs from your cheekbone to the angle of your jaw and back up again. That muscle typically will go into spasm following surgery. It will restrict opening comfortably within a half to two-thirds of normal. So eating and speaking isn't problematic, but if you try to stretch to maximum, you'll be aware of the muscle pull. You may find moist heat helpful within 48 hours after surgery. If this restriction and opening does persist beyond a 10-day period, call your doctor. Post-operative pain is managed with the analgesics prescribed. They can range from ibuprofen or Motrin to a narcotic combination. 